Hello and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Drayton Park Golf Club and I'm just on the approach to the 18th green. I wanted to do a, a quick video on another performance game that you can do for your chipping. So I've done a couple of previous videos and I'm going to put the links to it in this video as well. One was a ladder drill exercise, so trying to vary how far you fly the ball keeping the same club. One other drill that I've, I did there was one landing zone rather than varying the landing zone, but trying to vary the club. So you're trying to land the ball in the same area, noticing obviously that the ball would roll out different distances. This is a slightly different test. Uh, this is one to, to really look at and see, can you control your trajectory? Now, I don't mind how you do this exercise, whether you keep the same club and you try and vary your ball position in relation to your sternum, or do it where what I'm going to be doing, which is varying the club itself. We've just got to see, can we successfully do it? So I've done a sort of bit of a Blue Peter moment. Here's what I've made earlier. Um, so I've got two tour sticks and I've just then put three tour sticks lying across them and taped them up. So I've got roughly a sort of a, a foot box here, another foot, another foot, and then over this. So what I'm going to be trying to do is hit it into these four zones. So I'm trying to land the ball just this side of my my trajectory post so I'm not trying to land it short and roll it in I'm trying to land it level with or just past it but first zone second third and fourth I could have put if I had a, perhaps enough room maybe one more on the top and try and put it through there I'm just going to keep it quite simple and just trying to be getting it over that bar so you can try and do this by keeping the same club and varying the amount of dynamic loft on the golf club by varying your ball position or your sternum. What I prefer as a coach is a player actually keeping the same setup and varying the club selection more than anything else. So I've got four zones and I've picked out four clubs. Uh, I'm going to give it a go. I'm not too worried about where they're finishing, so I'm not trying to hit it towards a flag. I'm just trying to play this game. So you could do this as, as a performance drill and you're trying to go one, two, three, four, and then back down the ladder again. So four, three, two, one, and see how many in a row. So you, you can see how many times uh, or how many shots it takes you to get the pull in each zone. So we don't move on to the second zone until we've done our first, or we could just do it that we vary it each shot and we see how many out of four or how many out of eight if we go up and down the ladder. So there's a few different ways of playing this game. Um, I don't mind how you do it, but it's a great to write that score down. Use it as a performance drill. Use it as a scoring drill where you can come out and try it next, next practice session, see if you can beat your personal best. Great way of practicing is when it puts a bit of pressure on you, when you can write down a number rather than just aimlessly hitting shots. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try and do this. I'm just going to try uh, each one of the four. I'm not going to keep you here too long watching me do this. So I want you to do it with your practice swings, your whole routine. So I'm doing the bottom zone. And that was successful. So for me, that was a seven iron um, and it landed just past the tour sticks, but through that bottom zone. Next one, I've chosen an eight iron. I haven't tried this yet, so uh, it'll be a, an adventure for me and you, see if we can do it. So an eight iron through that second zone. Yeah. So uh, through the second zone, actually, uh, interestingly enough, finished the same distance as the seven iron, but it had to fly further. So the seven iron landed shorter, rolled more, the eight iron a little bit further, but that was through my second zone. So I'm two for two. I chose then a nine iron. I was between a nine and a pitch for this uh, third zone. I'm going for the nine, just one club at a time. Ah, no, that was through the second zone, top of the second zone. And then I'd be, do you know what? I'm going to try that again. So I've got two balls left, let's try that. Same club, so I've got the nine iron, still going for that third zone. That was it. And in last zone, I could have chosen a few different clubs. I've just got my 58 degree. I'm still going to play it as a chip, actually, not a pitch. So still ball back. But 
quite easy for me to fly it over there. All the balls, hopefully you can see on there, actually finishing the same distance or roughly the same distance, but the trajectory varied and how far the ball actually therefore flew varied as well. But that was successful. So I did four zones and it took me five shots. So you could go up and down the ladder and see how many shots it takes you. So you don't move on from the first zone to the second until you've completed it, or you can just try and vary each time. So there's a couple of different ways of playing that game, but it's a great exercise to get used to varying your trajectory when you're around the green. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Do post some comments and questions below. It'll be great to see how you guys are getting on with it. Make sure you check us out on all other social media platforms. All the info you need is coming along the bottom of the screen right now. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Oh, <laughs>